Hey, y'all. Welcome back. Number 48 says a company's daily cost, C, in hundreds of dollars to manufacture N items of a certain product can be modeled by the function C of N. So we've got this function C of N. I know I haven't finished reading the problem yet, where, but I do want to make sure we establish what these variables mean. So C of N describes the cost the cost in hundreds, um, I'm just going to say this a little bit more briefly, it describes the cost in terms of the number of items. Okay, so it's the cost C in terms of the number of items N. Okay, according to the model, which of the following is the best interpretation of C? And then when you see this little negative one in front of a function, um, that typically indicates the inverse. Um, so the inverse of C of 5 equals 80, where C inverse, oh, yeah, so it's, it, it actually tells you what C to the negative 1 equals. Um, kind of frustrating notation, to be honest, because it looks like you're trying to raise this to the negative first power, but um, this notation is also used to indicate an inverse. And so, you know, sometimes it's a little ambiguous. Most of the time it means inverse when, you're, when you have it on a function. Um, but it's nice that they actually go come out and, and tell you that. So it's saying that this is the inverse. So if C of N is the original function, and this is the inverse of that function, okay, um, we want to know what's the inverse when, um, you know, this is 5 and this is 80. So let me kind of break down what the inverse actually is. So the inverse describes the opposite relationship that the original function does. And what I mean by that is the domain and range are swapped. The inputs are now the outputs, and the outputs are now the inputs. So if C of N describes the cost in terms of the number of items, the inverse would describe the number of items, if I can spell, um, which is N, in terms of the cost. So notice here I just swapped um, what my input and output was. So for the original function, if I have C of N equals the cost, then that means that the inverse of C, um, well, I'm not sure how I'm going to, Oh, yeah, I guess, I guess I could do it this way. Is going to equal the number of items. Okay, so when I'm looking at this statement, this C negative 1, 5 equals 50, what this is really saying is that the 5 is the cost and the 80 is the number of items. Okay, so let's, let's type that out. So 80 is, oh, 80 is uh, the number of items, because remember, it's kind of the opposite of the original function, and 5 is the cost, and one little note here is that in the problem it does say the cost is in hundreds of dollars. So... Um, I do want to make a note of that. So like the cost here is actually going to be $5, really $500, is the cost in hundreds of dollars. So now I'm just going to look through my answer choices and see which one describes that. Um, so so part, uh, letter A says the company's daily cost to manufacture five items of the product is $80. So that's backwards. Um, not only is it backwards, but they got the dollar amount wrong. Even if like, so if this was said like C, of 5 equals 80, um, this would almost be correct except for the number is should be hundreds of dollars. Uh, B says the company's, so B is the same thing as A, except they do take that the hundreds of dollars into account, but again, they've got it backwards. C uh, says the daily cost to manufacture 500 items. Uh, no, this one's just totally wrong. <laughs> D says the company's daily cost uh, to manufacture 80 items. Uh, of the product is five dollars. This is probably the most commonly like picked uh, item that's wrong. 
Um, and that's because it's easy to miss the fact that the cost is in, is in hundreds of dollars. So this, yeah, this one's, this one's wrong too. Our correct answer choice is going to be E, the company's daily cost to manufacture 80 items, which that is the number of items, it is $500, which is correct. Five is the cost in hundreds of dollars. So if, if, uh, if C is uh, five here, then, um, then yeah, it should be $500. So our correct answer for 48 should be E. And that's it for that one. Thanks, y'all, for watching. Y'all have a great day.